Thank you, Mr. Chair. And um, I just have one quick question, so I do appreciate you giving me the opportunity to ask this question. Um, could you just elaborate on your point on um, adding the nurse practitioners to the list of medical practitioners that can certify the impacts of, of impairments for disability tax credit? disability tax credit applicants. Um, obviously, this is extremely important for so many Canadians uh, that don't have access uh, to family doctors or medical doctors. Um, but you mentioned it goes beyond the disability tax credit. Could you just elaborate on that? Thank you. Sure. Thanks for the question. So in Budget 2017 itself, there was the, the measure on the disability tax credit to add nurse practitioners to the list. And, uh, and that was legislated as part of the first Budget Implementation Act. So basically what's being added here is an extension of that because there are certain other uh, provisions in the Income Tax Act where there are specified uh, medical practitioners that can certify um, different things. Let me give you an example. For the child care expense deduction, normally it's the lower income spouse who's eligible to claim the deduction. But there's a provision that allows where the um, lower income spouse has a, a severe impairment, then in that, in that case, the higher income spouse is able to claim the child care expense deduction. So it's a, it's a question of who can, who can certify that status. So nurse practitioners will be added. So, so it's sort of taking that logic and extending it to, to some other parts of the, uh, of the income tax system. 